Welcome back. You are now all set to generate music using a MIDI as a priming sequence. In this last video, I'll show you how to use the transformer model in the collab you've been working on to generate a continuation of a piano snippet. Remember, this piano snippet needs to be in MIDI. You can use the transcription you created before or any other MIDI file you have of piano music. Let's start. Before seeing the model in action, I want to provide a quick summary of what you have done in the series. Then, I'll explain you how you can use the Music Transformer by Magenta. And finally, I'll walk you through a live demo of the model. Let's recap a little bit. Magenta is a tool created by Google that helps both musicians and artists in their creative processes. With the use of Magenta, you can accomplish different tasks. For instance, you used Magenta before to take a WAV file, pass it through the onsets and frames model, and get a MIDI file as the output. Now, you will take this MIDI file, or any other MIDI that you have, and using the Music Transformer model, you will generate a piano snippet that begins with your input and then generates an original snippet. Ideally, the snippet will be a good continuation of your selected MIDI. So let me show you more about the Music Transformer model. You deal with sequential data every day. A sequence of characters created in a word, a sequence of words of the book you read, the sequence of prices in the stock market. And you can also think about music in terms of sequential data. A sequence of notes or sounds, depending on the music representation. Sequence models are models that have sequences as input or output. And researchers have created different architectures to deal with sequential data in machine learning, such as RNNs, GRUs, LSTMs. A state-of-the-art architecture is known as transformers which, as the other architectures, deals with sequence models, but has better results for the long-term relationships, which is very important in music generation. Magenta uses this transformer architecture to provide us with an excellent model for generative music. You have many ways to generate music using this model. You can generate the piano snippet with no conditions on the melody, or you can use the melody conditioned variations. In this last case, Magenta will give you an accompaniment for your melody. On the other hand, the unconditional model will generate a piano snippet either from scratch or continuing a sequence you provide. For the purpose of this course, you'll use this last version, and as a priming sequence, you could use the MIDI you generated before or any other MIDI you have of piano music. So that's it for theory, let me show you how you can run the collab code to build a piano snippet with Magenta using a priming sequence. Welcome to the first and last demo of the course generating original piano snippets using AI Magenta Transformer. By now you should be very familiar with how to run a cell and you should have a piano MIDI file. Mine is this one, let's hear it one more time. So please make sure that you have, you have also a MIDI file. You, if not, you have to run this collab from top to bottom. And you can also check that you have the MIDI file by clicking here on your files and it should say prediction.midi. Now we're ready to uh, generate the continuation of that sequence. So for that, please go to lesson two, generating piano music with transformers, and then go to the code cells. First, let's set up the environment for transformer. It's going to take some time, so please be patient. Now it's done and you can read here when it's done. And then we can run this cell that defines some helper functions. And after that, we can set up and load some checkpoints that the transformer model needs. And this also can take some time. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's ready. Now it's ready and please ignore any warning, info or error message as said here in the description. And uh, we're going to choose a priming sequence. Uh, there are different options that you can choose from and I encourage you to play with the different options. So you can even upload your own MIDI file. If, but I'm going to use the transcription we created before. And I'm going to take the first 10 seconds of the transcription. 
So please select that and then run the cell. And this is going to take some time also. Now it's ready, so we can hear the first second of our uh, transcription. Beautiful. And now we can generate a continuation of that uh, sequence. Let's play here the continuation. When it's done, you should be able to see a MIDI player and also the MIDI notes. So let's hear it a little bit. Those were the first 10 seconds of the, of the sequence that I gave and here is the continuation. And you may want to run it different times to see the best results and try it with different uh, priming sequences. But that's pretty cool. We have generated music using AI. And finally, if you want, you can download uh, the continuation as a MIDI and uh, open it in MuseScore as I show you, uh, clean it a little bit, and then uh, mix it in using some uh, digital audio workstations such as Ableton. And that's it for this demo. This is the end of this course. I hope you had as much fun generating melodies as I had creating this course. Before finishing up, let me remind you about the most important aspect of this last video. First, I talk about sequence data and sequences models and how Transformers is a state-of-the-art architecture for long-term sequences. Then, I show you the different options that this model provides us to generate music and finally, you use the model to generate your own original piano snippet. And that's great! Once again, thank you for watching this video. Please do remember to share your favorite piano snippets in Twitter. You can use the hashtag MadeWithMagenta. And if you want, you can tag me at OneCopy81. I leave that in the description. And until the next time, bye bye.